Aiello has a title that I would like to tell you a little about. Get on board, New York and London. This is for two to five players, ages eight and up, and should take about 30 minutes to run. Ah, here's the bus. Hurry, grab a seat, and get out of the rain. Just like every trip, you fascinated by all the other passengers on board. Tourists, professionals, students. They're all traveling together, though they each have different destinations. This bus line is truly special, but will it be able to transport everyone safe and sound? In Get On Board, New York and London, you have 12 rounds in which to build the best bus line in town. Each round reveals a new card that shows each player the route shape that they must complete. Place your bus accordingly on the central board. Take the passengers where they want to go by connecting them and their destinations to your bus line. Avoid traffic and gain as many victory points as possible. Hmm. These uh, route building games uh, are, are, are a little popular. I've played a few of them. I, uh, I, I own uh, Ticket to Ride Europe, and I can definitely see a similarity uh, a similarity here. Now, this this uh, has a nice, from what I can read, what I can see, what I can tell so far, uh, this has a nice blending of sort of like uh, X and right, you know, roll and right, or flip and right, X and right games, meaning a, a classic, a much more classic style board game. This seems to be a melding of the two systems from what I can see, uh, because most flip games don't have a hard static board, uh, but yeah, so so I, I think I like this. I think I like seeing that this is kind of blended like that. Now, just looking at it, it's easy to see that the, the, the components in this game are thematically awesome. Absolutely amazing. Everything about these things just uh, really, really make you think about taking a bus ride. Uh, right down to the tickets. It looks great. It feels great. And, uh, you know, when components are that nice and that good, uh, it does help pull you into the game. Now, there are very simple components, too, like the, uh, the, the creating the bus lines. Just very simple uh, little, uh, well, basically sticks. But, you know, it, it's a nice balance between what's uh, necessary to pull you into the theme and what you just need to represent something. And it does it nice. I do like these components. There's also a nice blend from what I'm reading in, uh, and seeing in this game. It seems to be a nice tight balance of uh, mixing, uh, you know, like mapping out routes, which obviously, of course, seems to be the, the main point of the game. Set collection and, and where you're going, what you have to do. And uh, pick up and delivery. Where, where are all these bus riders uh, needing to get to? And how are you going to get them there? Because that's one of the main reasons you're scoring points. And that's how you're going to win the game. So I like that, too. Now, I can obviously see from everything that I've read and, and actually physically seen uh, of this game that this definitely has a huge, friendly, uh, family vibe to it, which is really good, uh, giving both strategy and a sort of simplicity uh, to the rules. But also, it seems to me, I wouldn't be surprised if this could turn out to be a bit of a gateway game for other route style games that are out there. I, I feel like it might just, you know, work that job also as well. As letting you know that if you're having fun at this, there's others like this. Yeah, so I think it's a nice gateway game, I bet. This also seems to be the kind of game that you can call a buy and play. Kind of game where you buy it and you can set it up on the table get through the rules in a moment or two, uh, let everyone understand how the game runs, and be able to play the game in a moment. Literally buy it, open it, and play it. And that's, that's, a, that's a huge thing, I think. There are way too many games out there that are, that are so complicated they need two or more rule books. You know, they're nice from time to time, but sometimes you just want a game that you can just open up and play. And everything seems to be pointing to that about this game. Yeah, overall, these are the reasons why it's on my radar. I think me and the 27 Warriors and even uh, even the misses, I believe, would have fun with this game. But, you know, don't don't listen to me in the sense that uh, be, being influenced. Go inform yourself. Is there anything I've said here, anything that you've seen that piques your interest, go inform yourself a little bit. Uh, because I think that if you already this peaked, then you may... You may want to put 
get on board New York and London on your radar too.